Welcome back to the channel, folks. On this week's episode, we're going to be continuing the Waterworks series. And today, we're going to be talking about details and abstracts. I'm out here at one of my local creeks, shooting a little details of the white water out in the distance. Um, I always like doing that when I'm nearby the water. I'll get out my long lens and shoot some details and abstracts. And that's what we're going to cover today. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's head on back to the studio. Once I have finished photographing the wider, grand landscape, I always make sure I turn my attention to the smaller scenes. I look for more intimate landscapes, small details, and little water abstracts. For me, these are the more challenging and more unique images that I strive to create. It is at this point that the ultra-wide angle goes back in the bag. I will start with something as narrow as 35 millimeters, like this image. But then I'll start to even put that in the bag and grab the 85mm or even a zoom lens. I am a big fan of the 85mm focal length. It forces you to see the landscape in front of you in a very different way. This detail image of Spruce Flat Falls in the Smoky Mountains is one of my favorites from 2019. I would have never seen it if I had not mounted an 85mm lens on the camera that afternoon. I would have gone about my day and kept shooting on at 25 and 18 millimeters and never seen this. And on any given scene, even after I've started to look at it through the 85 millimeter lens, I will get even closer and look for even smaller scenes or smaller details. Combining the effect of a long exposure with a long focal length really accentuates the abstract qualities of water over rocks. Alright, so this morning at Elk River Falls was pretty good. As you can hear behind me, the water is running really hard. Uh, sorry, the microphone got in the way there. Um, but, uh, you know, I made a couple of nice images that I'm really happy with. And then I made some nice detail images. I always encourage anyone to bring a long lens, a long zoom lens with them, um, because it lets you uh, zoom in on little details that are not right next to you and capture little patterns in the water, little motions, little waves. And I found a couple of really nice ones over here. I'm going to turn the camera around. There's some really nice ones right over this ridge. And there's some really nice ones right over in here. With a 70 to 200 millimeter lens all the way out at 200, I can isolate little sections of reflected color and light, smooth water over rocks spilling over into the white water, and the little bit of chaos in that white water at just the right shutter speed puts just enough motion into that image to make it more interesting. I will even get closer. When I can get close to small sections of water, I'll still zoom in at 200 millimeters and really zoom in on just a tiny little area working with a variety of shutter speeds to find out what works best catching just a little bit of movement in the water working with the reflected light and color of the fall foliage in the background and speaking of color and reflected light to me one of the most often overlooked or missed opportunities by photographers is shooting reflected color on the water surface. Many times this requires aiming downstream instead of upstream or being in the right place at the right time when the sun is just hitting the trees in the background causing the color of those trees to reflect on the surface of the water. To me this is a very unique opportunity 
to create images that have great pockets of color in the surface of the water. This unique style of shooting is all about working with patterns and shapes in water, creating abstract forms out of moving elements. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. I know it was a little bit different, but I enjoyed making it, and I hope that you enjoyed watching it. If you did, hit the like button. Leave me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know how I'm doing. If you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do that. Hit that notification bell. I try to put up a new video every week. Until next week, may the good light find you.